Well, the um, the Crack and Dupont Chevrolet NASCAR 500 Ricky Spall uh, Ford Toyota car was was good today. We were hot in turns four and three, and uh, the car almost ran out of gas, but uh, we made it. So I just wanted to thank all my sponsors: Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Cheetos, Maxi Pad. <laughs>
we bought everything you see in the picture, um, and we need those sidebars, those aluminum or those copper looking sidebars. I haven't been able to find those just yet. But anyway, back to the video. Cheers. Oh, this is about two hours later, and I finally got it a little bit done. What we did is we ran both of the lights. We drilled holes in the bottoms there. Can you see it? Right there, we drilled holes. So that way the wires can go through the back side and not take up <clears throat> and not take up the bench space. You don't want the wires to take up the bench space. Plus, we got our electric screwdriver here. Got to have one of those, man. Got to have one of those. And then we got our Lux light set up to put extra lighting on it. We got some of our stuff, oh yeah, on the pegboard. It's like a man's altar, you know? Oh, it's like an altar, it really is. Got the Kraton sitting there, Creighton. Check it out, so, like I was saying earlier, you bring the truck in, it's dirty. Right off to the side here, we have the air gun with the air compressor, pick it up, boom, blow it off, right? I'll make a little attachment for this so I can like set it down like that, right? Like just kind of hook it there. Over here on this side, you have the vacuum. So we'll make an attachment for that so that way we can just hook it down. And then when we need it, we can just pick it up and then clean up our area and then put this back. Boom, it's done. And then we get to what we were doing. So I think this is going to be a good setup. You have to make sure that your truck can spin freely around your setup. You don't want nothing in the way of it, all right? So that way you can freely work on it. And we got a bunch of work to do on it. Um, we're going to replace these, these, the hub carriers. We're going to replace them. Probably the arms and stuff will leave plastic. Get some new shocks on them. We're going to shim the diffs. Here in about a couple days, we'll do a video where we uh, tear apart the rear end and put shims in the differentials. So I'll show you guys how to do that next. All right, I'm getting out of here. Peace. Anyway, um, I appreciate you guys. I really do. For the last couple of weeks, I've been posting polls. Basically asking you guys questions. Um, you know, I've been asking little things, you know, uh, technical questions. You know, uh, sometimes they're fun. Uh, sometimes I'm asking serious questions or I'm just trying to get you guys' opinion on what we should do. Um, we are going to change the name of the channel. Um, I don't want to just do computer stuff. If, I know with YouTube, you're supposed to do one thing, and that's your niche, but I don't have that. My niche is what I do in this garage and the things that I build. Computers just so happens to be a part of that, and the computer space right now is stupid expensive. It makes no sense to build a computer right now, to buy computer parts. It's just, it's ridiculous. I'm not going to go out there and pay thousands of dollars for one component in the computer and then like next year that same component will be down to nothing. Like I'm not going through that. So we're going to try something different. I think we're going to change the channel to Don's Tech. I like Don's Tech Bench, but just like a tech PCs being a mouthful, I want to get away from that. So I think we're just going to stick with Don's Tech. Simple. Uh, a friend of mine suggested it, and it was a good suggestion. I appreciate you on that one. Well, I got, uh, I got hair on me. That's because I, I was just, I was just holding my rabbit and petner, and I got hair all over me. So that's how that goes. 